Hello, in this video, we're going to cover the vertebrae. There are three types of vertebrae. First, we have the seven cervical vertebrae. Then we have the 12 thoracic vertebrae. Then we have the five lumbar vertebrae. At the very end of the spine, we have the sacrum and the coccyx. Starting with the cervical vertebrae, we first have C1, which is known as the atlas. You can tell the atlas apart from the other cervical vertebrae because it has no body and, and the hole in the middle, known as the vertebral foramen, looks bigger than the other vertebrae. Next is C2, known as axis. You can tell the axis from the other cervical vertebrae because of the dense, which is the pointy part coming out of the body. Then we have the C3 through to C7, which is just regular cervical vertebrae. Cervical vertebrae are unique because they are the only vertebrae that have a transverse foramen, which are the two little holes on the sides, and they have no inferior processes. There are eight common structures you need to know for the vertebrae. The body, which sits anterior and is the round, thick part. The vertebral foramen, which is the big hole in the center where the spinal cord goes through. The, at the posterior side, we have the pointy part, which you can feel when you touch your spine, which is the spinal processes. Then connecting the body to the spinal process is the vertebral arch, which is divided into the pedicles, which is the little bridge next to the body, and the lamina, which is the bridge next to the spinal process. Looking from a posterior side, we have the transverse processes on each side. Then at the top of each vertebrae, we have the superior processes. Then at the bottom of the thoracic and the lumbar, we have the inferior processes. When you look at the spine from the side, you can see the intervertebral foramen, which is this hole in between each vertebrae. 